Hey guys, welcome back to another day in adventure. We're still here in Guanajuato, and um, yeah, we just found uh, a lovely English speaker. So come, come to know me. Oh, Lily. Lily. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And like I was saying before, all the American people that travel to America, they're really cool. And you've, you've lived in Arizona? Well, I grew up here. Oh, right. I live in Arizona, yeah. Okay, yeah, your accent is like so American. <laughs> I, I love the American accent, so. But I, I know they they like the British accent in America. You say they do have a lot of British accent, but I can't really tell yours. I don't really yeah. hear it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I, well, I'm trying to slow down. When I go back to Manchester, I speak really hard, and really fast, and it's really hard to be able to speak up. Take up. Uh, so, anyways, what's, what's your favorite thing to do in all of uh, Guanajuato? In Guanajuato, I definitely like the mezcals, the mezcales over here. There's 15 pesos mezcales. Yes. They're so good. They're you're, you're dangerous because my my friend my, uh, my my friend of my uncle had a mezcal and he almost killed himself. He almost like died because he, he was pretty old. You know, like Americans they usually overweight. That's and crazy. He had one and he almost fainted and then. He told the Mexicans about it, and he was, they were like, uh, "Oh, I had mezcal." He's like, "No, I'm never having mezcal." Well, even the Mexicans are scared of it. You gotta be careful with the mezcales because okay. you never know. Right. <laughs> Last time I took like five, and I was already drunk. Really? So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm a real. I, I never drink. I drink red wine every now and then. So if I have mezcal, I never drink. I just because I, mean, I like to focus. Mm -hmm. So if I, if I have mezcal, will I like pass out? Oh, uh, definitely. But it depends on how like. How's your tolerance? And also, you never know with mezcales because I don't know. Sometimes they're light for you, or sometimes they're you're just gonna get fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Random. But okay. yeah. So what, what's your what's your favorite thing to like? Someone who's coming here, who's foreign. What's the best thing you to do to, to make the most of one of them? Uh, definitely going to the Pipila and like just. I don't know. I just like yeah. the culture. Yeah. I grew up in Leon, that is like 40 minutes from oh, here. Yeah, no, Leon, but when yeah. I come here, I always feel yeah. a little bit more. I don't know. Like, 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 like you've gone back in time to the 18th century. Yeah, because also, also the independence was here. Like, yeah. Mexico's independence, so yeah. there's definitely a lot of history yeah. here. People get offended when I say it's like Rome, but I mean it as a compliment, like like Italy. Because uh, my one of my uncles lives in Italy, and yeah, I just love it. It feels like the same kind of feeling. I feel like a Roman emperor. emperor. Like, I go to Kimboxing in the outdoor, and I walk back here from the city, and I feel like a, a Roman gladiator or something. Yeah. It's a really cool feeling. Yeah, you can definitely try on the time. Yeah. I'm, I'm also asking people around the world um, if you come from this, like uh, for a Mexican girl, uh, what's your what's your favorite type of person around the world? Like um, like a lot of girls, like Italians and oh. English people or British people. I was speaking to another girl and she said, oh, I really love Irish people. Oh, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Like, like, if you could, like, you're your perfect guy, what would you be like? I definitely like Spain, even though, Spain. Okay. Even though Spain uh, colonized Mexico, oh, yeah. but I like Spanish. Okay, that's probably because Spain, this looks like Spain. Yeah, Is looking for it. Well, all the, col the colourful buildings here, it just look like Spain. That's about Mexico's culture, because a lot of the buildings are just, like, they were built in the yeah. New York Yeah, how, how does Spain feel? It just feels like I've gone back to Spain again. But yeah, uh, also, I'm off playing a game, um, how, how these two people, like Henry Cavill, are um, Harry, Harry Styles. Oh, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. Yeah. Okay. Henry Cavill or Chris Hemsworth? Henry. Henry. Okay. Yeah, he's 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 like he's, he's like, like he's perfect. He's the top of the world right now. Right? Yeah. Okay. Henry Cavill or Cristiano Ronaldo? Henry. Still. Okay. Henry. Henry wins it, guys. <laughs> he always win, always wins it. Okay. It's excellent. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, uh, what's, your, what's your name again? Uh, Lily. Lily. Hey guys, welcome back to another day, another adventure. Ricky, we're in a new city now, just uh, near Guanajuato. I'm going to be, I've got an interview for to be an te English teacher here, so we're here in Leon. Leon is, uh, I was here a couple of weeks ago and this is like, um, like Guanajuato, like you saw in the last video, that's more, that's more like, um, it's more like, you know, a little kind of Italy, a little kind of Spain, um, but this, this looks like USA, I mean look at this. You find American food chains everywhere. This is just like highways and oh, Dairy Queen. I didn't even know Mexico had Dairy Queen. That's unbelievable because that, that, oh, I might have to go there because Dairy Queen has the nicest ice cream ever. Uh, last time I had, I was in Saudi Arabia in uh, 2014 and I worked there. And the only thing I look forward to in all of Saudi Arabia because they don't allow alcohol, they don't allow girls, you know, you don't allow to speak to girls or anyways in Saudi Arabia. 
all I did was look forward to my day off and I had the Sunday, this blizzard and yeah I'm a big foodie but that was the nice ice cream I ever. I remember when I was in USA and I was working, um, I was uh, doing construction work in the back garden and afterwards I was sweating, sweating all day and I just had an ice cream from Dairy Queen and it was the nicest taste of ice cream I've ever had. Uh, but yeah, Leon is more, people say it's dangerous for foreigners, I was here last time and it didn't seem dangerous but uh, I had one person, I was, I was walking past this guy at the bus stop and he was like a young teenage guy, guy and he went fuck you, fuck you and so they have that, um, I think they have a lot of hate towards Americans here um, in a lot of Mexico as well um, so see, to say you're Irish, I mean you're Scottish or something but yeah I also, yeah it's a bit of a polluted kind of city it looks a bit like Paraguay, I saw Sean sometimes, like a more rich town, but it's small scale. This is more like um, USA because they have shopping malls and highways everywhere. Kind of clean, kind of clean compared to Asunción, anyways. But yeah, if you go down, they have big shopping malls, and people here are much more um, upscale. Like the girls here are a bit more attractive. I a master of a girl on Bumble who was like almost model like. Um, but she, but she, I think she only matched me because she's been to USA. Like I told you, the best girls are the ones that have travelled, the ones that have been to USA that aren't ignorant and aren't scared of uh, foreigners and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm from England, so just make sure that you say that you're from England because uh, they don't like uh, a lot of foreigners, um, especially in unknown places like this. Um, but yeah, people. So the guys that they said, fuck you, fuck you. So it's, at night time, I think it might get even worse. At the night time, it might get a bit more dangerous. But if you go to the rich places where the pl plaza is, I remember, I'm still talking to a girl, oh, 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 uh, a, a, a girl now um, on Facebook. Um, really easy to pick up girls here. Yeah, if you're, you know, blonde or, you know, wild looking. Because the, the, the girls here are more upscale, they're much more cleaner. They have a, a bit more, more, more white European kind of look. Uh, it's compared to Guanajuato. Um, but probably not as good as, um, what do you call it, uh, Guadalajara will be, but yeah, here, uh, I mean, when I was here two weeks ago, I, I was walking in the, in the shopping mall, it was, it was like being in Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo, I remember Sao Paulo, Avenida Polista, every second you, you just see a, a girl and you talk to them, it's like, one minute you talk to a girl, hi, you get a handshake, and then you over your shoulder you see another girl and you just run after them, and then it, Five seconds later, you see another girl, you walk with it, and then they're all really receptive. It was like that in the shopping mall. I, I was like, I've got to stop talking to these girls, or else I'm, I'm not being, I had to go back to work. So I'm not going to make it back to work here. I was just like, I saw one girl shove around, talk to her. Then another girl is like, I was breaking my neck just uh, seeing them. Um, but yeah, especially after being in public. I think I was like that because after being in one of that for so long, you know, I've seen much more uh, brownish kind of girl. Like here, it looks a bit kind of almost a bit run down, like but not as run down as Fashion Shot. But then the next second, you, you see like a really big shopping mall, and it looks like like Florida, USA, or some place or somewhere really nice. Um, and those are the ways you can see it's a bit more slimmer here, and yeah. And they're not because they're not used to foreigners, so this is a good place. There's a shopping mall called Plaza Mia, and that's what one I went to where. I met these girls and got their Instagram and stuff and their Facebook and they're so cool to talk to. Um, I remember I was talking to them for a long time. Um, both girls, like even every single girl I talked to, they're just like, hey, and we're talking for ages. Um, but that's the thing, Mexicans are just so cool, nice though. Don't take it too personally. It's a bit like Brazilians, you know. Don't take it, don't think, oh, this girl's into love me, she wants to. It's just um, they're being really cool, they're really cool people so when they talk to you. Yeah, we're gonna, like now it looks, it's like, in, in Argentina, you know, when you go to Buenos Aires, you walk one way, five seconds one way, and it looks really run down. Then you walk five seconds the other way, and it, it, it's like being in a different country. It's like, it's like, wow, this is really rich, really cool here. So yeah, you, but you've also got to watch out at night time, I think, here. Especially if you're white ahead, it's uh, pretty dangerous. That's what my friend said back at the hostel, and he's Mexican. He said, be careful here. Um, but yeah, let's go explore it now a little. It's pretty, like, it's all Starbucks. Yeah, you know, it's basically Starbucks, where highways, McDonald's, Burger King, that kind of stuff. Um, not much nature here. So, it's a bit like Guanajuato, you feel a bit polluted. And I'm dying to get back to the beach. I'm dying to get some yerbe mate, some acai, and to feel back to the beach, because I feel a bit sick, you know, after being so long without nature. But let's go, let's go explore it. It's pretty chill. Pretty chill, and the people here are cool. 
not like in Mexico City. Mexico City, I had on the subway, which is it's a monster. It's just, and they had the go home gringo and a lot of that. So, but here is much more cool. Hey guys, how are you doing? So here, I'm here for an interview now. I'm going to rice school. Yeah, so see, it's really quiet, really peaceful here. So yeah, it's like not like uh, Mexico City, you know, or other popular city, other popular cities. But yeah, and it also yeah, when I was in Guanajuato, um, I also met another um, cool girl from Leon. Every single hot girl I meet in Guanajuato, they're all from like Le Leon. They're usually slim and usually well put together here. Yeah. It's more like it's more like model model s kind of place, you know. Usually places like that. Usually the modern places, lots of malls, shopping malls, cosmopolitan kind of lifestyle. So. Hey guys, we're here still in Leon, and we're here to find the only place that's probably active in Leon. It's a uh, shopping Plaza Mia. Plaza Mia, this is like being back in USA, except for the only difference between here in USA is that the uh, shopping malls are kind of packed, whereas in USA everyone's on the phone and inside watching Netflix. But yeah, just anyway, just keep the point. I just hope to group of girls that you know I give them my contact info for teaching English and uh, you know I said oh I own a hotel you know you can come to my hotel and we can uh, you know you can, I can teach you some English and uh, the girl said can I touch your hair as, as she was giving me Instagram I was like you sure it's not been washed for, for a few days we said yeah I want to touch it I think because they never see anyone with blonde hair or, 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 you know in, in, in this place so oh yeah my colour hair um, so yeah just if she can touch it I was like you sure because it's a bit of a mess right now I see, I've got a beard I'm not shaved I've cut my hair for a long time so yeah she actually asked if she could touch my hair um, that's, that's pretty cool, but yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I already gave Donato, so it's But yeah, it's a pretty cool place, but this is like the only place that's actually uh, really, really, really busy. Uh, I don't think I've got any money. I think I, I, think I gave it all Donato. No chinas. Ah, see, great chinas. There you go. Do you, you mean YouTube? Do you mean YouTube? Uh, but yeah, really. Yeah, this is a pretty un unknown city. So, um, yeah, last time I was here, I was like, oh, he's really nice. This is probably the only place in the Isle of Leon where they have really nice girls. They're really, they're not, they're really well put together here. Um, so they're really receptive because they're not used to foreigners at all. Um, well, usually when they are, they're usually scared, scared of foreigners. Uh, but here, I think, um, pretty intelligent. And, yeah, every single the last time I was here, I was just breaking my neck, just like talk to one girl, then five seconds later, oh, there's another hot girl, there's another hot girl, yeah, I talked to 